Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's uh, episode of Six of One and Half a Dozen of the Other. I'm here with Jeff Finan, Greg Clifford, and as always, Emmett O'Brien. I'm your host, Rachel Lally, and we're here for this week's pod experiment. Thanks to everyone who subscribed to our channel this week. I want to give you a little shout out. So, uh, Breathified, um, James Parrott, Hannah Cusack, thanks so much for your comment. Uh, Chris O'Doherty and Rory Lynch. Thanks everyone for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the button because it helps us all out and we're all broke or just sitting at home in our little lockdown. Um, I was so, just saying that, that I, got, I got four of those people to sign up. So the goal was to get five this week. The lads have been useless. I'm just saying that. Uh, uh, do you know what? It's about time you actually pulled your, pulled your weight. You know what I mean? <laughs> just so you all know, if you're watching or listening, um, it's, it, we're, it's a competition. So, um, ah, you know, maybe we'll have a prize next week for the person who gets the <laughs> I'm, I'm winning. It's no competition anymore. I'm winning. <laughs> okay, so this week's thought experiment is... Uh, thanks for that lovely burp, Emma. <laughs> okay, so go back to the episode with the bomb, which I think was our first episode. Mm-hmm. I found the guy who planted the bomb. But it's about to go off. The bomb's about to go off in about 20 minutes. I have the guy here in the kitchen. <laughs> we don't know where it is though, guys. We don't know where the bomb is. The bomb know. is in the kitchen. He knows. Oh, sorry, the bloke is in the kitchen. The bloke is in the kitchen who planted the bomb in the oil center. How are we gonna get him? To it's tell us where it is. We need to get him put it's in the oil. You just said it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Sorry, what I like? don't know where in the oil accent. <laughs> so how, do we get, how do we get him to talk, is it? Yeah, we have to get him to talk. We can start by slapping him in the face a few times. You're going to go straight to, to violence, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm like... I'm impatient today, right? Yeah. And I mean, only have 20 minutes. You've got 20 I think minutes. We can, I think we can rope him up a little bit. It's not working, though. Is it definitely a, it definitely a he? Uh, no. We don't, I don't know for sure. I haven't Pan checked. Gender. I haven't really looked in there, to be honest. I mean, I could go. <laughs> I could go and check. <laughs> it's not my priority right now, right? We're running out of time. I would just call the guards and tell them to evacuate the oil center. We're not. We're not 100 percent sure it's in the Alex Center. We strongly suspect it might be. You could be fucking playing playing games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've got 20 minutes to go. Less. 19 now, lads. And he's 19. 19, 19 minutes. And the person you need to know where the, the bomb is. So you're obviously gonna really gotta got 15 minutes because we even 10 minutes because you've got to get to get to the place. Yeah. Ah, um, oh, yeah. Just like. Except that it's fucked. Just I'm like accept that it's gonna go timer, off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. fucking out. It's it's gone. I'm giving up. I'm gonna have Wait, a can of this. How are you gonna get him to talk though? <laughs> I love the honesty. I'm not. I'm not gonna get him to talk. It's, by the time you get him to talk, and then well, we're assuming it's a he. But by the time you get that person to talk, and then by the time they tell you, by the time you go down, you don't know how to disarm a bomb. You're gonna have to tell the guards. The guards have to get the bomb squad down. It's just a lot of fucking hassle, really, isn't it? Well, <laughs> but Brother Emmett, how do you know that someone that you don't love or even like is in the building at that moment? How do you know it's not in this building or your building? Yeah, well, that's why I said I'd have a can and hope for the best. But, like, but, like you're not going to do that in 15 minutes. Do you know I what I mean? Like, give me an hour. Okay, can, can we just say that like your go-to answer can't be all the time, I'm just going to have a can and hope for the best. Like how we've succeeded in life so far. <laughs> you're so in this deep predicament. What are you going to do? It's only a tin. It's only a tin. Yeah, it's only, it's, it's only a tin. It's only a can. It's, it's, you know what I mean? It's not going to bring any harm. Okay, well, what if I knew it's something wrong. that you wanted to know, Emma? How would you try and get the info out of me? Well, all I'm saying is that if I'm sitting in a gaff with somebody who's out there planting a fucking bomb and someone turns around to me and says, you shouldn't be having a can, I'd be saying, get your fucking priorities and check me. (laughs) The other thing, if someone's planted a bomb, they're probably tapped and it's going to be hard to reason with a lunatic anyway. Mm. Like, like, 
I don't even know where to start in this one this week. So you're arguing with a person that's planted a bomb because they're annoyed at you because you're no, drinking. Greg's in slapping them. Emmett's drinking a can. What are you doing, <laughs> I, don't no, I, was, I was going to be in quiet there to see which person was going to go to torture first. Like, oh, and so, you brought it up. You brought it up. That's a fairly, you know, reasonable kind of mindset. I mean, we've got, got what are we have now, 40 minutes? I don't agree with torture. Yeah, you had 20 ever. minutes to start. I don't with. agree with blowing up the oil act either. No, but which so, one was worse? So... If Kem- Emma can sit in the corner drinking cans and judge me as I'm... So Emma, I'll do the torture. I never, <laughs> said, said, that I said, I never said there's nothing bad about torture. I'm, I'm all right with it. I'm grand with it. But I'm just, I'll wait until the bomb goes off to do it. You, know, you just don't want to be the one administrating it. No, well, I'm saying you're not, not going to. Sorry, you're not going to go. You're not going to go and torture the person beforehand to try and get information. You're going to be like, ah, fuck it, let them let them die. And just jump straight in and then torture them afterwards, just because you've had a couple of cans and now you're losing. <laughs> no, I'm just not going to torture someone while I'm having a can. <laughs> I'm having a can. You're only having the but can. Don't, but don't have the can during the twenty minutes. Have it when you when you've solved when you really crack the can case. Can enjoy the can later on. So you can enjoy that can. Well, no, but it's a load of stress because you only have fucking 15 <laughs> minutes. Like, you're Why stressing you stress yourself out. you drink in the can? No, but you're stressing yourself out over nothing. You're not, like, you're going to stress over yourself nothing. out over getting information off a fella that you're not going to get. And then you even wait, if you, you what I'm trying to say is... three minutes now, guys. You wait. Yeah, yeah, but even if you do do it, even if you do get it, if you, if you talk to him and he tells you, by the time you tell the guards who tell the bomb squad who go down, and I'm actually, I'm actually thinking now, oh, by the time the bomb down squad... The down there. No, but by the time the bomb squad and the guards get down, how do we know that they're not all going to be in the vicinity and then the bomb goes off? So, like, by trying to figure out, you're probably doing and they're, like, more well trained. than good. Our guards are well trained with bombs. Well, maybe your man has something on him or even in the gaff where he can, like, just put, put a stop to it. Do you know what I mean? Just stay oh, well, if he had that then, yeah. yeah well, you could it. ring the place and be like, everyone get the feck out of the building. He's completely flip-flopped there. Ah, if that was the case, yeah, I'd go and talk to him. <laughs> just like that. Oh, what we could do, right? What we could do is go, right, Jeff, you can have two minutes of reasoning with this lunatic. Right. Right, because I think okay. that's fair game. That'll appease Jeff. You know, Jeff is the champagne <laughs> socialist of the group. He cares for everyone. Ah, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yes. He's the neo- neoliberal sort, you know. Um, Emmett is the wild card maverick, you know. Um, you know what I'm loving, Emmett, though? Emmett, Emmett would probably just reason with the bloke and be like, actually, I know you from like when we used to do like juggling together. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I love? I can picture Emmett it. I can... Like, do you want a can? No, no, I can picture it, right? So this man, we're going to say a man, and he's like tied up Where in the kitchen. Okay. Because we're just saying it for hypothetical reasons. I'm not okay. doing this each yeah. bollocks. I'm not a fucking lefty. But he, we're sitting here and we're like, oh, this man is, we don't know what to do with this man. And then like, we're thinking about torturing him or having a can of my back. And then all, all you hear is the door open and Jeff walks in and looks at him dead in the eye and just goes, hey, how's things? And then he would like... <laughs> Straight off, he'd be like, oh, fuck. And Jeff would be like, I'm going to give you a first kiss. And he's going to be like, fuck, that's a seven-minute poem. I'll tell you where it is right now. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Hold on, hold on, Emmett, Emmett. I come in and do this. You ready? You looking? Oh, yeah. My first kiss. (laughs) (laughs) That's done. (laughs) Also, by the way, lads, I don't know why you think that I want to torture this person. I'm just happy to slap them around a bit. Torture would be like cutting them and all, or cutting a testicle off. I'm not into that. What kind of sick animal do you think I am? Well, you're, in, you're <laughs> slapping him. You start it straight, straight out by slapping the guy. You could, you could hang him upside down by his legs, put over his head and pour water into his mouth so that he can't breathe. You wouldn't have to slap him. But then he wouldn't be able to talk either. We, we need answers from this guy. If you stop pouring the water into his mouth, then he could talk, but he'd be, you know. Um, I know what to do. I know what to do. What? Can't I know what to do. We, we get him, and you know those two picks? Like a two pick, yeah? Yeah. Take his shoe off and a sock off. I do, actually. I have one here. That, right? <laughs> shoe and sock off, and put one toothpick right underneath the nail of each toe, and say, where's the bomb? 
And if they say, don't know, just bang a fucking hammer right against the two pick. Then we need a hammer as well. It's a lot of equipment. Get a full can. Boom. And then I'll drink it after. <laughs> Jesus. I know what technique do you employ, Greg? I, I quite <laughs> like the fact that I, I was the one that, that uh, kind of brought up the idea of torture, yet Greg is the person that has to do all the torture. And he's I don't mind doing it. No, he was yeah, stringing with the slapping. It's not it's working. A, it's a team effort. You know, you guys suggested, fair enough. I'll admit it. Are we talking to him and it's not working? Fuck, I'm not arsed anymore. I couldn't give a fuck. I actually, I actually couldn't give a fuck about this cunt anymore. I just tell him to live. What Sorry about the language. So you're letting him have to get aggressive at times too, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, there's a bomb going off and yeah. he's not being reasonable, so I'm just going to go back to me can. But he has I don't been. know about that. I think that's a cop out. I, I, I think you got to give it, give it your all, man. There's 20 minutes. 13 well, well, probably now. Yeah, Greg, I mean, Greg to, be fair to, to be fair to Emmett, he has spent two full minutes trying to convince this person. You know, he's whacked the, the two picks into his toes. Two full minutes. What, what's, what's, what's he supposed to do? Just apply yourself for another 18 minutes. <laughs> I mean... He's the maverick. <laughs> but I mean, that's, that's it. You've got to go the whole distance. You know what I mean? Look, at, look at his eye there. What that, is the whole distance? Of somebody that wants to torture him after... Well, I reckon the whole distance is at least see the duration of time through. Okay. So uh, and, and, you slap the guy. That hasn't worked. We okay, that hasn't worked. Stabbed him with then the then it got a little bit torturous. And the hammer. Um, I, I think then, then, then eventually you would have to just go for pure, pure trying to guilt the person, try to reason, uh, try and level with them on their kind of like, how could they be doing such a thing? What went wrong in their life? Try to show compassion. I guess that's your last kind of port of call. Okay. Jeff, after you've recited your seven minute long poem. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't believe we vetoed that. Like, that, that was such a waste of time. I think that's torture enough for anybody. Maybe, I think, maybe that, we did them at the same time. Yeah, I think be it, like if somebody's planting a bomb, there's no way that you could be reasonable with them. They're just not going to come around to it. I mean, you've seen Dennis Hopper in Speed. He, all he wants to do is blow up the, the building, you know what I mean? Like, or, or blow up the bus. Uh, so you've got to do something that's, that's different. And you're not going to be, you know, you're not, we're not psychologists. We won't be able to get the information off, but just kind well, of. Well, we could call a psychologist. Way. We're pseudo philosophers. Pseudo, pseudo being the, the appropriate word there. Yeah. Here we could ring a psychologist in 20, in, well, we've now got like 10. But we all know, minutes. like, let's be honest, we all know that if we were in a gaff and there was a bloke in the kitchen who'd set off a bomb and we called a psychologist into the house to help. No, we just have them on the phone. They would get sidetracked by Emmett and they'd be just spending their whole time on that and saying, this is the real issue that we have this week. Let's sort this for him first. Yeah, this guy is savable. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at him there in, in the midst of all this panic and he's just having a can, doesn't want to be disrupted. <laughs> I think I'd take the bummer if I was the psychologist. <laughs> in fairness, there's a, lot of, like, there's a lot of merit in that, that Emmett has just straight away gone, I'm not equipped to deal with this. I'm going to leave it to you guys. Yeah. It's a cop out, but at least he's not getting in the way. Yeah. Well, there is that. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really help us, though, does it? How good looking is he? How good looking is the bomber? Let's let's say they're really good looking. Well, I'd probably sleep with him. Would you offer? Yeah, I suppose you could offer sex. You could say, like, you know, is this the way? Out? You are bombing the oil, because I'm a bombing the sack. That's what I'd say. Mm. I'm ready to go. Sick, I'm no, you're not, you're you're not going to... You're going to tart, really, aren't you, deep down? Okay, oh, my slow. Okay, plot actually... twist, plot twist, plot twist, guys. Guess, guess who I have. Guess who else I got. Not only did I catch the bomber, I now have in my possession the bomber's child. Okay. Kill it. Gone. Fuck it. We don't need another child in the world. They're all yeah. fucking... Don't listen to them. Go back to your can. 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 And this is why the psychologist would go to Emmett first. <laughs> I can't stand so I, I have the bomber's kid, 10-year-old. Wow. Okay, well. Um, Rafty. Mm. How did that one just show up? Uh, I'm, just a, I'm good at this shit. The torture stuff? No. Finding people. That's not your bag, yeah. Psychologist on the phone, the kid's in front of me, the guy's in the kitchen. Okay, at this time, at this moment, I think Jeff, Jeff might be. It is a guy. 
So I think at this moment, so, so the bomb is going to go off and it's going to kill loads of people, yeah? Can I just clarify that? Like, it's going to kill loads of people. Pretty much guaranteed. We're going to assume, yeah. I mean, the bomb's going to go off. So in my family, my mom is really dark. <laughs> right? I just want to say that. She sure loves revenge. She loves revenge. She's just like, um, when I was brought up, like, she would kind of feed me stories of revenge if anybody ever did anything on our children. So she said that she, she would, if, if anybody messed with us, you know, in, in a really bad way and kind of did something that would be awful, that would be irreparable, she would hang them upside down for a couple of hours until they almost passed out. Then she would tie them back up and she'd put little incisions on their body so that they would bleed, but they wouldn't bleed out. And then she would douse them in vinegar. Then when the scars would heal, she would peel off the scars and douse them in vinegar daily so that they'd know not to mess with their children again. Is that what you would do? At this stage, I would, get, I would probably get quite dark. I have to say, like, I would go, if, if it's a case of, like, I, I'm going to say people, and I know that there's a chance that my family is in there, and, there's, um, and it's like, either get, the, get the, the information from the bomb at that stage or not. I think I'd I think I'd mess with the guy's head. Okay. Yeah. So what are you gonna say? What I mean, are you gonna say? You could just absolutely threaten that you're gonna do something to the child. You could do yeah, like I, I yeah, actually don't really want to follow this train of thought because I'm like I don't want to see how dark I am as a person because mm -hmm. most of the time I'm quite nice and I was given two minutes to go in and, and be nice to the person and try and reason with them first. Yeah, I, I think Greg should do the torturing. I, I would I would get pretty dark then at that stage. I I would probably go as far as I needed to go to to get the information to save to save my family. So, so what are you saying? How far is how far is that? That what are you going to do? Torture the guy? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably mess with his head in, in the sense of like of like threatening what to do with like his family, and then use like blindfold him, and then using sounds to suggest that I had done stuff that I hadn't. I think the child in this is an, an innocent person, so I definitely would not do anything to would that. You, could to could that you child. pretend that you were dousing the child in like? Something flammable, like white spirits and shit like that. You could, you could pretend, like, once you had the person blindfolded and they had the sense of, like, smell and, and, and they could hear, it, you know what I mean? Doom and gloom on, on the, you on could the really mess with their head at that stage, yeah, and then Quite pretend it did. I mean, you have, to, you have to go with that approach. You literally have to. You're not going to do it to the child. So right, would you not, though? Would you definitely not do anything to the kid? But if you inflict damage on the child and, and kill them or whatever, then it's like, well, he definitely has nothing to live for. And he's just a homicidal maniac that doesn't care about the... Or do you think inflicting pain on the child would make the person talk? You could pretend that you were inflicting pain on the child and, get, and gag the child and then you could just like make sounds of that you were, you were doing it. There's loads of things you could do like kicking walls and breaking over stuff and smashing things and just having like people like... Like the fear that would, ha would happen in the room at that stage I think would be enough. So right at this point also Emmett has finished his can. We yeah, tried our okay. where, what, where does where does brother Emmett O'Brien bring this? Oh eh, I wouldn't go anywhere. I don't know, I wouldn't go anywhere. I'm all good for a laugh, but that's uh, that's how uh, this is this whole thing is out of my comfort zone something severely. I, I wouldn't be I d I wouldn't be suggesting doing that and I don't know, I wouldn't I wouldn't that wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be into that. Like. I wouldn't mind being in that situation. Well, I mean, it'd be a terrible situation to be in, but I think I could hold my nerve. You know what I mean? I kind of have a sang froid, I believe, you know? That's the word of the week. What does that mean? Uh, keeping your coolness and composure in adverse situations. It's cold blooded. Sang froid, cool headed. Cool -headed. Yeah, well, we're running out of time. The guy hasn't spoken yet. Then you're just like, I'm sick of it. Sick of this shit. Yeah, I think like there's ways of, like there's ways of making people talk. I, I, I still don't know what they are. Like so we tried everything. Up. Unless he's got an incredible threshold to pain, you mm -hmm. know, then you're up against it. Would you talk if if she was on the other foot, right, and you're being tortured, right? Um, As in, like I'm being tortured. You're being tor tortured. Like what? Um, Thinking. At what point do you think you would you would talk? Like, how much pain do you think you could handle? In, in the book, in the book, nineteen eighty-four. Have, have you, any of you read nineteen eighty-four? Indeed. Yeah. Spoiler alert for, for when it comes to the end. Like the per the main protagonist in it feels that he's not going to talk, but because 
there's been so much surveillance done on him through his whole life the, the powers that be know all his deepest and darkest fears so even though that he has gone through all this tremendous torture to get to the point where he you know he feels that he's nothing left and he's trying to do the right thing the whole time they know his deepest darkest fears and that's in that one on one now room one on one room one on one and so when he goes into room one on one they 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 do the worst thing possibly imaginable in his mind to him. everybody has it what it shows that everybody has a breaking point I, I don't know what mine would be, but I can't imagine that. Like, I'm not trained to survive all that pain and stuff like that. As much as I would like to think that I, I wouldn't break. The, like, but now knowing that, would you just give up from the beginning, or would you see it through <laughs> as much as you could? Or I know I, I think I was from the beginning of this. I was saying that I would see it through, and I think that you can make people talk. So I think if it was to save, and this is what I want to just make sure again, because I have got a little bit like really dark in this episode. But to to save an awful lot of lives, I, I think that that's some you know in this stage that I would kind of go to the stage where I would do my best to try and make the person talk. Mm-hmm. A noble vigilante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's fair game. I mean, if you can save a load of lives and then just damage some dude who's damaged anyway mentally, you gotta you gotta make that that call. Um, Jeff, what I was going to say to you about if, yeah, see, it depends about the cause as well. Say that you're the one who's being tied up and uh, tortured. If it's something that you really believe in and you're not going to break, well, then you're going, you'll see it through, even if it's death. Like it, it's a noble cause to die. De- depending, but, depending. I think like I think everybody has that something that is a breaking point for them that they can't go beyond. Like, I mean, like, so say for instance, if it was that they were, were torturing you and you're like, I don't care what they do to me, they can, you know, burn me or do this and, and, and then I'll never break. And then they bring in somebody, like, 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 like a family member gone. or something. The bomb's gone off. No. Oh. Um, any cans left? <laughs> you can't. No. <laughs> what do we do with him now, man. like? What do we do with him He's off to torture your man now. He's finished his cans, the bomb's gone oh, off. Oh, yeah, so and the bomb's gone off. Kitchen. Well, now what we can do, now. all we can do now is apply the Buddhist mindset and say, we tried, we can't change the past. All we can affect is how we move forward with, with what just happened. So, Emmett, you said you'd torture him afterwards. What are you going to do now? Well, uh, now that it's all done, I fuck it. Like, everyone that I know is still alive and I'm still alive. I'm going to really let him walk. Fuck him. Let him walk. Let him go. You're going to let him free. <sighs> Give him to the guards or something. Yeah, fuck it. The same up people in straight jackets than Brother O'Brien, I'll tell you that. Well, no, give him to the guards. Let the guys deal with him. I'm not doing that until I'm fucking. I'm, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I do. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I do. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. It's a weird, It's a fucking. This episode's a fucking surreal situation to put someone in. I, I don't know. Like you're asking. I would say that most of them have been though so far. Yeah, but really struggles with bombs, you know. Yeah, I know. It just gets a little bit too real. It's like he's suppressing something. I know. You're all right. Emma. No, I'm not. I'm not into it. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm into the idea of uh, in, in, inflicting pain or having pain inflicted on me. I, I don't know. Uh, well, there's no. I, I don't think the pain. I mean, that's cool, though. If that's like, if that's a line for you, and you don't think you'd even cross it in that situation, I mean, fair enough. Well, guys, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, we didn't save. <laughs> we didn't save the world this week. What? There's always Not this week. week. <laughs> No, but we've now we've seen how tra- traumatic my childhood was with, with the like my mom was like a, the human version of a Roald Dahl story telling us all of her torturous things. No one is a beautiful woman. She is, no, she is. Yeah. Okay, thanks for joining us this week. If you're watching, please give us a like uh, and subscribe um, and throw us a comment down below. Tell us if uh, what you would do in that situation. Uh, how would you make the guy talk? Maybe you can think of something that we didn't think of. Um, and we'll catch you all next week. See you then. Thanks, guys. All right. <laughs>